So the, uh, the project that's going on right now is a salmon spawning gravel restoration project just downstream of the Feather River Fish Hatchery. So uh, what we're doing is we're placing 5,000 cubic yards of salmon spawning gravel um, into the Feather River. This material um, is related to a project we did back in 2014 where we did a, a similar project with 8,300 cubic yards of spawning gravel. And at the end of that project, we stockpiled another 5,000 cubic yards up on the bank, knowing that you know, we would have a, um, a need for it in the future at some point. So this gravel is placed in the river um, during high flow events. It migrates downstream, it, you know, it's pushed downstream with the high flows. So the gravel that was here in 2014, a lot of that has moved downstream now and is now uh, laying on spawning areas uh, further downstream from this location. So uh, we have that stockpile. The material is being placed in dump trucks. Um, it's being cleaned up there at the stockpile, or sprayed at least, to try to get some of the dirt off of the rocks. And it's being placed with an excavator into dump trucks. Uh, the dump trucks are driving out into the river channel, unloading their material. And then we have a bulldozer that's in the river channel that's pushing it out to uh, the, the proper depths. We have uh, biologists out here on site right now that are um, directing where the gravel is, is to be placed and uh, how deep it needs to be placed. Uh, all of the uh, heavy equipment that's going in the, in the river has had its hydraulic fluid replaced with um, vegetable oil. And that's just a precaution in case there was a hydraulic leak of some kind, it wouldn't place anything but vegetable oil in the river channel. So we have a variety of environmental requirements and protections that we need to implement, and that's just uh, one of many. Another component of this project is uh, there's a side channel out on the uh, river bar on the other side that uh, was filled in uh, with, with gravel. So we're going to be uh, excavating that gravel out as well to reestablish that side channel. It's called Moe's Side Channel. It's a very popular place for uh, salmon spawning. This project benefits Chinook salmon and steelhead. And uh, we, you know, we have the hatchery right next door. The hatchery produces um, 8 million salmon every year and uh, about uh, 450,000 uh, steelhead. But what's nice about this project is, is it's producing naturally produced salmon. These are, you know, these are wild fish that are being, uh, being produced by this project. So uh, I'm very pleased to see this project going on. Um, it's, uh, it's come about uh, faster than any project of this magnitude that I've ever done. Our director had decided back in the, uh, the late spring to go ahead and, and go forward with this project. So uh, we put it together very quickly, working with our state and federal uh, uh, regulatory agencies. They partnered with us to help get this thing off the ground. So I'm very happy to see it going on.